Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Asset V and we're gonna be doing stuff with polyrhythms today. So from the last video, we have our basic drums, bass, and this kind of cool little groove here. All right, simplistic drums, simplistic bass, just to kind of get the groove going. And then we have one long note here for the Asset V just so we don't have to press our keyboard the whole time. Kind of makes life a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's go again to the new preset here and let's go to the advanced and let's check out our sequence. So we just have that. So let's just kind of make this a little bit interesting by removing some of these notes here to get a nice groove going. Okay, so we have something kind of basic like this, right? And we're changing different octaves. We're changing, well, not yet changing notes, but we're changing a lot of stuff right now as far as slide, accent, and vibrato. Let's just throw in a couple different notes here. Maybe something like this. Let's bring this one up half step and maybe just add a half step over here. See how that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so we have something kind of cool here. So what's the cool part about polyrhythms, right? So we have our octaves, we have our notes, we have slide, accent, and vibrato, and there's 16 steps and they're doing the same thing every single time, right? This main bar is following these steps. Now that can get kind of boring, even if it is kind of a cool sequence, it can get kind of boring, right? Because we know what to expect after a while. So if we go in here and turn on polymetric and take a look what it does now. Nothing is necessarily synced up anymore. So if we were to reset these with these blue little lines here, all the way to the right, kind of how we ha had it originally, something like this here, and then this last one for the vibrato, all the way to the right, we basically have the same thing as we had before. Now the cool part is, let's say we want these octaves to not necessarily be even multiples. So let's bring this here all the way to nine, something kind of like that. Maybe for our slides, let's do the same thing here. Let's maybe bring this down to 13 or something like that. And let's have our accent go every four. Or maybe even do a little bit different every seven. And maybe do a vibrato, something kind of strange like 11. So we have our same notes going through these 16 steps here, but the octaves change depending on what it's going to be. Same with the slide, accent, and vibrato. So every time one of these notes hits, it's not always going to be at the same octave here for the first step. It's not going to not have a slide. It's going to be kind of a little bit more random, and so it's kind of a little bit harder to predict what's going to be happening here. So with that being said, let's kind of make a cool little patch here with this in mind, and yeah, let's, let's see what we come up with here. <laughs> What's kind of a cool trick here I like doing is putting a modulator on the gate. So we're kind of just opening and closing the gate a little bit, not closing it, but making it a little bit shorter and a little bit longer depending on our modulation curve here, which is kind of nice. And we can always just move these curves a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more uh, of a difference. <laughs> Let's add a sub os here. Maybe you see how that sounds and changes it. Let's go for a saw. Now 
to swap in some of effects here. So like what I like to do as well, like in the last video is using a tape echo because I feel like this sounds a little bit better here at an eighth note. So bring it down here into an eighth and let's increase our effects here. What might be cool as well is adding a super unison to this, something like this. Let's bring a dry down as well. And maybe on the second modulation, let's maybe use that for the dry wet, something kind of like this and give it a healthy amount, something kind of like that. And then maybe change this here. So it's added in a point here. Let's bring this down, see kind of how something like that would sound. can make it go a little bit faster here so maybe half it was also a cool effect here as well as doing the panning here so stereo pan and kind of maybe bring the amount down because it's quite up a lot and kind of dial this in here as well Final step here, let's go ahead and add some external reverb by turning this bad boy on. And we're using Valhalla Vintage Verb in case you are curious about that right over here on a dirty plate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And while we're talking about reverb, what is kind of cool as well, a cool effect to do is especially on your send is kind of automating this every so often and kind of giving a reverb throw on certain spots of the track. So I'll just kind of do this with my mouse to kind of show you the effect. I'll do it a little overboard so it sounds a little bit like too much, but that's the kind of concept of what we, what we, you, what you would do with automation. <laughs> Yeah, so doing that in time with the right amounts can have a really cool effect as far as those reverb throws go. So that's kind of the concept of using some polyrhythms and also some cool modulation sources. So if you like this patch, it is available for free download in the video description below, and you can groove to this too. Might be, it might be actually kind of cool to do some weird moves like this with the cutoff here, do something kind of crazy like that. And let's see what kind of happens if we put that on the cutoff. That might be kind of interesting. Experimentation is all what it's all about. It's actually kind of cool at 1 over 32. And maybe let's add a little bit more range for our cutoff. So let's go up here to this button and give a little bit more of the cutoff range and kind of see how that sounds. Let's just call this patch so wet because it does sound wet. So wet. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to get this patch for free, like I said, there's a link in the video description below. And so wet <laughs> can be yours too. So uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.